uh, libertarian uh, activist Maj Torre had a great tweet this morning, if we can put it up. He kind of captures it, as you do in Twitter, in a real short nutshell. He says, so let me get this straight. Voter ID is bad, but a vaccine passport is good. <laughs> and he's kind of like rubbing his chin. Uh, so it was a very good one. But, uh, you know, all, all joking aside, what else could be put on those? Certainly, with the administration's focus on domestic terrorism and domestic terrorists, does anybody believe that it's too far away that anyone involved in the January 6th insurrection would have that noted on their vaccine passport and they would find maybe they couldn't go buy another gun, maybe they couldn't go uh, to a movie because they're too dangerous, they couldn't go within 100 miles of Washington, D.C. Remember in the Soviet times, you had your own internal passport and it restricted you to with a certain amount of miles from where you had to live and work because you were assigned to work and you couldn't leave. If you wanted to go to Moscow or St. Peter or Leningrad, <laughs> you had to have a special mark in your internal passport, your internal ID to do that. If that's where we're heading, and if, it, if that is indeed the case, if people don't stand up against this, the America that we knew, even though we've already seen it change over the past year, will distort so far that we won't even remotely recognize it as the country we knew.